Hi, and welcome to Waveform Science. I'm Jeff Hagen. It is the Wednesday before the Consumer Electronics Show in 2024, and Bluetti will be releasing a few, behind me, new products at CES next week. And they wanted everybody to get a good chance to get a walk around and going through the products to see what it is they do. So they sent me a couple of them. Obviously, at this point, I haven't had any time to test them because they're still in their boxes. But we're going to today open them up, take a look at them, and kind of get some close-ups of the different parts of them. Uh, and my usual disclaimer, um, I am not paid to make these videos. Blue Eddy does not pay me. I do not work for Blue Eddy. I do work in tech. I do not work in solar generators. So I make these because they're fun. And uh, obviously, Blue Eddy had to send me these for me to make this video because they're not out yet. So is what it is. But uh, let's go ahead and get them unboxed and take a look and see what they do. Bluetti is pretty well known for having intense packaging, and this was no exception. Uh, the untime compressed version of this is a good five and a half minutes long just to get them out of the box. Let's take a look at the cooler first. We have big Bluetti logo on the front. Uh, we have the doors on top, and we have another door down here that says push. Let's open that up. Inside here we have a tray of some sort. Pull that out and take a look at that. We have some sort of container inside there. Also, by the way, this is uh, where the battery goes. This is what it looks like on the inside here. Continuing to start from the bottom and working our way up, we've got a couple of wheels. Rotating the unit on its side, so we're looking at the bottom of it. We still have the wheels here. They do not appear to be obviously removable. We've got a metal housing here that looks nice to uh, probably for heat resistance that's right under where the battery is we've got a couple of uh, rubber grommets to keep it from moving around and what looks like a drain plug working our way around the sides let's take a look at the back of it we have a dc output that has a usb-c port and a usb-a port Marked through 5 volts, 3 amp, PD 100 watts. We'll test that later, but that's what it's marked. Uh, we have a DC input, 12 to 24 volts, and a PV input, 16 to 28 volts, 200 watts max. So it looks like there's one input here, which appears to use the standard cable that most refrigerators use. Not sure 100% yet, but it looks like it. And it looks like it can take anywhere between uh, 16 to 28 volts, 200 watts max to recharge the battery. So you can plug a solar panel into this just to charge the battery. That's kind of cool. Let's continue on to the next side. This is the back. The back of the unit has nothing except a vent for the compressor. Now let's take a look at the front. We've got a handle, which is needed for this 50 pound unit. You really do need a handle. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. It's a nice handle. It does the job. All right, moving up to the top. We have two doors. We have the main compartment. Right here, this compartment has inside a cardboard box which contains probably cables. That looks like cables. We've got the uh, solar input cable. Oh, there's an unusual one. It's got this on one end and MC4s on the other. You've got a uh, cigarette lighter charger cable. And of course, the ubiquitous power brick. This one is a uh, 24 volt output. Oh, and how useful, the instruction manual. So that's where it is, it's on the inside. What else do we have in here? We have, oh, taped down. We have a tray. And looks like taped down again. We have another tray. Two different trays. And that is all that's in this compartment. 
The next compartment has a plastic cover over what may be a screen or display of some type. Not sure there. And we've got another cover here. Take these covers off. Open up this side. There is a little handle down here, by the way, to open and close it. And on this side, we have the ice maker. And yes, this unit does have an ice maker. And it appears that you can remove the tray for cleaning. That's always nice. Let's take this out. Got some tape in there. So we've got, looks like the spoon is taped to the rest of it. We'll figure that out later. But we've got a little tray, a little spoon inside. There was no battery in the fridge itself, but there was two batteries in the power station. So what I've done is I've pulled one out. 768 watt hours, by the way, big battery. And we're gonna put this in the fridge and see if it turns on. Open this up, and by the way, I have not turned this on yet. This is the first time. That's nice, I didn't I just notice that. The door stays open. I don't have to futz with it. Let's see, which way does this go? This way it looks like. Battery seems to go with the Blue Eddy logo up. There we go, clunk. Our button. Aha! It's alive! We've gotten the little light right here to turn on. Let's close this up and see if we've got controls. Right, we've had a control pad light up here. Push the button here, get the controls to show up. If I hold down configure for a minute, it unlocks it. Now we have a couple of settings here. We have the ice maker setting. That turns on and off the ice maker, which I don't have any water in there right now, and I took the bucket out, so I probably don't want to use that. This one is a self-cleaning function for the ice maker. And this controls both the temperature and can also set the size of the ice. There's a small ice and a large ice. Very cool. So I've got it on and running now. We're just going to let it run for a few minutes and see what happens. It's not cold at all inside there yet. But while we're doing that, let's take a look at the power station. If we look at AC-180T next to AC-180, it looks like the AC-180T is sort of the big and tall model. Now, first off, AC-180 itself is 1152 watt-hours. AC-180T is 1433.6 watt-hours, so we're about, I don't know, 10-15% bigger for the T model. Additionally, the T model needs the ability to take the batteries out. So it's going to have more space used inside for connectors and things. Seem to have a cigarette lighter port on both. 12 to 60 volts on both. Uh, the T seems to use XT60 as opposed to DC7909. That, in my, in my opinion, is a good change. Uh, they've got both got four 20 amp outlets on them. Uh, 1800 watt inverter in both inverter sizes the same. Take a look at the sides. They both have surge protector. They both have a grounding lug. They both have an AC input. They both use the same connector. They do. Let's take a look at the back. Basically just a sticker on each one. Not too much there. Take a look at the next side. Got air vents on both. It is useful pointing out that the AC-180T does have two USB-C ports, where AC-180 has just one. Looking at the tops of the device, the AC-180 has a wireless charging pad. AC-180T, instead of having a wireless charging pad on the top, has a door with the word open on it. Pull up on that, and you have inside two slots for batteries. One of them I have removed and put into the fridge. The other one is still in here. There's a little button here that says open. You push down with your thumb, you pull out, and by the way, these are 20 pounds each. So there is uh, approximately 40 pounds of battery in this device, which means, by the way, when you take the batteries out, this doesn't weigh very much anymore. Now it's nice and light. 
So that's a consideration. If you've got uh, weight limitations and you want a larger power station, this will actually break the weight of your power station into three. All right, the battery itself has a little power button on it right down here. And if we push this button, we've got two little bars of energy. That should be enough. Let's see if we can get this to turn on. I don't know that it matters which one I put this in. Let's put it in this one. There we go. Close it up and oh, that's interesting. It turned on. Uh, so you guys can see that I'm not cheating or anything. The other battery hole has nothing in it. So it does actually seem to turn on with only one battery in it. Will it give me the DC side? Well, it reports that it turned on. How about the AC side? Yeah, it looks like it seems to want to turn on even though it's only got one battery inside. That's pretty cool. Let's go back and check to see if that fridge got cold inside. So did the fridge actually get cool inside? My thermostat is at 60 Fahrenheit out here. Let's put the probe inside. All the way down the bottom. And the temperature is dropping. Let's give it a minute and see how far it goes. It's been another five minutes or so and my thermo probe has now gone to low. This particular probe does not read temperatures below freezing, so that means the cooler is now a freezer. And it does seem to get cold. We've taken a quick preview of two new devices that Bluetti is releasing at CES 2024, the AC180T and the multi-cooler. Uh, there will be a full review video on these devices uh, coming up in the future, but as you can tell, because I just opened the box. Um, I have done absolutely zero testing on these other than the fact to make sure that they turn on. So it's going to be probably at least a month for me to get the testing done. So don't expect the video out tomorrow. Uh, and uh, there may in fact be uh, other videos uh, between now and then that uh, come out before this one as I have other products that are in testing that will have videos out. So we're going to keep looking at things and see how they work. As long as you guys keep enjoying the videos, I'll keep making them. Have fun. Yes, it was raining in the background while I was recording. <laughs>